Factors affecting living organisms and non-living components. Ecosystem includes all biotic and abiotic factors in one particular environment. Biotic factors, the living parts of an ecosystem, and abiotic factors, the non-living parts of an ecosystem. Ecosystem consists of three basic components, the autotrophs, the consumers, and abiotic factors. When we say autotrophs, these are known as producers because they are able to make their own food from raw materials and energy. Best examples are the plants, algae, and some types of bacteria. When we say heterotrophs, these are consumers like humans because they are the one consume the producers or the other around which is called consumers. Example of them is dogs, birds, fish, and humans and all examples of heterotrophs. Example of ecosystem, Arizona desert, okay, mountains in Colorado, coral reef in Belize. Examples of biotic factors, moose or moss, lumot, fungi or mushrooms, and animal. Biotic factors interact with each other in complex ways such as parasitism, mutualism, and competition. Also interact with abiotic factors in the ecosystem. Includes dependent upon water, minerals, temperature, and light. Abiotic factors determine biotic factors. Biotic factors all living organisms are affected by the living components of its environment. So first, we have predators. We also have microbes and competition. Competitions that includes the food, the shelter, the maze, and the light. Okay. Abiotic factors includes, again, the air, water, soil, temperature, wind, source of energy, and many more. Basta hindi sila buhay na nasa environment. When we say abiotic, means not or without, for example, a toxic, a moral, abiotic, amusia. Example of abiotic factors, we do have fire, sunlight, and rocks. Another examples of abiotic are the fires, the hurricanes, the floods, volcanic eruptions, and tsunamis. And there are also another abiotic factors, the calcium, the sand, temperature, and nitrogen. Let's move now to the food chains and the food webs. In food chain and food web, you always remember that there is a producer and the consumers. When we say producers, these are organisms that makes its own food. The best examples are plants, okay, consumers, an organism that has to eat to get. Best examples is animals, humans. There are types of consumers or heterotrophs in the environment. We do have the herbivore, the carnivore, and the omnivore. When we say herbivore, these are the animals that eat plant only. When we say carnivore, these are organisms that eat meat only. But when we say omnivore, these are organisms that eat both plants and meat. Okay, And then there is another one which we call that uh, insectivores. When you say insectivores, these organisms that eat only insects. Example of these is um, lizard and frog. Food chain. Okay, let's start from the bottom. The bottom says that the producers make their own food by photosynthesis using sunlight to create energy. And the rabbit eats plants for energy that serve as a primary consumer. 
and the secondary consumer eats primary consumers for energy. Take note, class. The primary consumer um, gets more energy than the secondary consumer. Always remember that. Now let's move now to decomposers. Decomposer break down dead plants and animals. Example of these is bacteria and fungi are two examples. Reduces dead organisms to simpler forms of matter and returns them to the soil. Decomposer class, uh, they are responsible to decay dead body and dead plants. Okay, another is worms. Okay. We have predator, prey, and scavenger. When we say predator, these are the organisms that hunts the living things for food. When we say prey, these are the organisms that is hunted for food. And scavenger, scavengers, animals that feeds on the remains of dead animals. In food chain, shows how each living thing gets food always begin with the producers arrow show the flow of energy from one organism to another food web a collection of food chains interconnected from same ecosystem arrow show the flow of energy from one organism to another and it has a multiple consumers and producers Energy pyramid or pyramid shows the amount of energy available at each tropic level of an ecosystem. The higher in the pyramid rather and the less energy available. Ecological relationships. In ecological relationship, we have biodiversity, the number of species in an ecosystem. We have territory, the space claimed by an individual organism, and the ecological equilibrium, the states of balance in an ecosystem. In an ecological relationship, we have niche. When we say niche, role of organisms in the ecosystem. Best example is dog. What is the role of the dog? in an ecosystem or 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 sa bahay, guard okay ano ang role ng organism like um, bacteria fungi and worms okay they serve as a decomposers yung ibig sabihin ng niche there are two types of ecological relationship we do have symbiotic and oppositional relationship and symbiotic relationship is a close relationship between two species in which at least one species benefits for the other species, the relationship may be positive, negative, or in neutral. Okay, example of symbiotic relationship, we have mutualism. When we say mutualism, two different species have an ecological relationship that they both benefit from. For example, zebras and wild birds in grasslands of Africa, Africa rather, because yung birds, siya yung kumukuha o kumakain ng thick or garapata meron sa zebra so naka-benefit siya tapos yung zebra naman inaayaan niya lang si si bird kasi both of them benefits each other so both of them ay nakakatulong naman sa isa't isa and then another mutualism example is the the flowers and the bees tandaan pa natin yan okay the pollination is an example of mutualism Without the pollination class, walang mangyayaring fruits o walang uh, ovulation mangyayari sa mga halaman. Because we know that fruit starts from the flower. Okay, because of the pollinator, kaya nagkakaroon po tayo ng ovulation at naka, nakakabuo ng isang fruits. Next is commensalism. This is a type of relationship in which one species benefits from, but the other is unaffected. Okay, for example, the clownfish and the sea animals. Yung clownfish nakatago, siya yung nagbe-benefit, pero yung uh, sea animals, walang pakialam, hindi siya affected, hindi siya nasasaktan. Okay, o wala, hindi siya na-damage. Yun yung ibig sabihin ng commensalism. Okay. 
Here's another example commensalism, the eastern chipmunk and the soul mite. Another is amensalism, interactions where an organism inflicts harm to another organism without any costs or benefits received by itself. For example, black walnut tree that secretes chemical to its neighboring plants. Next is parasitism. When one organism in the relationship benefits from the relationship and the other organism does not. For example, a thick and a white-tailed deer. So, pag sinabing parasitism class, yung isang organism nakaka-cause ng harm sa host. Okay? There are two types of parasitism, the endoparasites and the ectoparasites. If the parasite um, cause uh, sa labas ng ng body o ng katawa ng isang animals, ang tawag po doon ay endoparasite. But if the parasite cause inside the animals, we called it ectoparasite. Parasiti parasitism, one organism benefits and the other one is harm. Okay, for example, the leech and the skin of the human body. Okay, ang tawag po natin dito ay endoparasite. Okay, bullfrog acts as the host of the big red worm parasite. So, nasa loob, so ang tawag niyo po dito ay ectoparasite. Move now to oppositional relationship. Okay, in an oppositional relationship, we have competition. When we say competition class, these are the animals that compete one another. Like food, shelter, mates. Okay, they compete each other para makasurvive. Okay, para makasurvive sila, mayroong fight na mangyayari. So, kung sino po yung matalo, siya yung hindi makakakuha ng food or ng bahay o ng mates. Kung sino naman po yung nanalo, he or she gets all the benefits during the competitions in the environment. Take note, ha, pag, pag sinabing competition, may dalawang species na nag-aagawan. Okay? Just like, for example, this one, okay? Um, the hyenas and the cheetah compete for their food. So, since the cheetah or the lions gets first, so, yung hyena, um, hindi niya na pagkain yan. Sa ano na yan? Sa cheetah na po. Pagmamayari na po yung cheetah. So, yun yung ibig sabihin class ng competition ng pagkain. Next is predation. In predation class, dito napapaloob yung predator and the prey. Okay, when we say predation, consumer feeds on another consumers. Okay, a lion eating zebra and an eagle eating halibut. Tandaan po natin ang predation, yung consumers, kumakain ng another consumers. Okay, dito din na makikita natin again yung predator at saka yung prey. Thank you and God bless.